הלו עמנואל שחף. אידנטיטי, The Quest for Israel's Future, The Book, The Lecture, The Ideas and the Program of the Federation Movement, that you are one of the leaders. First of all, congratulations. Ynet, the Israeli biggest internet website, and also I-24, embraced the new article that you wrote and published it in English. Mm-hmm. First time in, in uh, not in I-24, but the first time in Ynet. Uh, and uh, it's good to get the coverage from them too. And uh, while we're talking about Israel hot summer, let's talk a bit about Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Yes, ice cream. Yes. Uh, Daniel Zeidman, a political activist, wrote a funny reference. He said that first they came for the ice cream. Uh, as an analogy, of course, to what uh, the priest Martin Neumiller said uh, in the Nazi times. Uh, it's a little over the top, of course, but uh, it, it's, it's, an, uh, it's significant in the sense that uh, what uh, Ben and Jerry's did uh, and what's developing around it is, is clearly a, a signal and uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a beginning. Okay, they took something which is uh, in the middle of the consensus, ice cream in the summer, a Jewish company, a big company, a popular company. American and, company. And American company. And um, uh, that company decided to boycott uh, uh, only in a year and a half, but nevertheless decided to boycott uh, the, the territories, uh, the occupied territories, the West Bank, and brought up a storm. Uh, which, which, uh, which is in, indicative of the uh, hypocrisy uh, is, uh, the Israeli government uh, spreads around this whole issue. Okay, uh, as uh, Joshua Shane's professor of history said, that uh, you know, if if the situation is um, if the situation in the uh, in the West Bank. Uh, is uh, as it is uh, when all these uh, infractions of civil uh, rights are actually conducted there, then Israel is not a democracy uh, if, uh, if uh, the West Bank is part of Israel. And on the other hand, if uh, the West Bank is not part of Israel, then there's no reason why uh, companies should not be allowed to boycott uh, that particular area. Okay, so uh, Israel, as usual, wants to have the cake and eat it, uh, but this will, will, the will ice not go. The, the ice cream and eat it, <laughs> yes, so to speak. Uh, so this won't, uh, this won't stay, and uh, uh, the situation is, is basically it's an indication of what other companies are also going to do. And uh, it'll take time. It'll take time. The, 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 uh, our government will try to uh, counter this with uh, legal means, uh, the Jewish community, Uh, it will also uh, chip in, of course, but in, in the United States, for example, there's considerable support for, for what Ben and Jerry does because most of the Jewish community in the United States is progressive. Uh, so this is another thing which, which uh, increases the friction within the Jewish community, which is, of course, unfortunate. But the, the big advantage, of course, is that this will lead to more and more discussions of, uh, of uh, our problem in the West Bank. Okay, it will not go away from the, from the headlines and it will, we will have to deal with it and the government will have to deal with it even though the present government is not in a particularly good position to deal with it because of the political uh, makeup and whatever but it will have to deal with it and, uh, and that's good. So you're saying the Ben and Jerry effect it's only a first sign. It's the beginning. It's, it's the beginning? That's it's the beginning. More and more yeah. American corporates well known and established yeah. in Israel? Yeah, they, they, they will not, they will look carefully what's happening with Ben and Jerry's and if they feel that uh, the, the price is not too, too high uh, uh, and the, 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 the back, uh, backlash isn't, isn't too, too big, they will also join the bandwagon because it's, it's, uh, it's understandable that progressive movements try to pressure Israel into uh, improving the situation in the West Bank. And that's basically what we're talking about. We're not talking about something anti-Semitic or anti-Israel. We're talking about uh, trying to help the Palestinians in the West Bank. So from your perspective, when you're looking towards the future, and you, you're taking, for instance, the example of South Africa and the apartheid, You're warning now that at the end of the cliff, what might happen here in Israel 
if the federation ideas won't be implemented? Well, uh, what will happen is that more and more companies will join the bandwagon. Mm -hmm. For in Israel, this will take a long time. So it's not, it, 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 it won't really do harm to Israel's economy. It will take a long time before that happens. Uh, but it will be, will be an unpleasant environment because if uh, every two weeks or three weeks or every month you have a big story about this company or that company uh, uh, leaving or wanting to leave or something, this this is is not pleasant to be in a situation like that, especially if there are good reasons. Okay, we're not talking about uh, anti-Semitism ganging up on us. We're talking about uh, concrete steps in order to pressure Israel in improving the situation in the West Bank and doing something about the Palestinian problem. So this is not something uh, uh, to, be, to be laughed at. It took in, uh, South Africa took many, many years and, and the reason it, uh, it took so many years because South Africa was part of the Western Bloc against the Soviet Union and only when the Soviet Union came crashing down the whole thing fell apart. Uh, and we're not in a situation like that, but but uh, it is clear that we cannot count indefinitely uh, on American support for everything we do, and we already see that uh, the Biden administration is uh, under pressure from the progressives in the Democratic Party. Uh, uh, so we will see more and more pressure coming from that direction too, and we have it now with uh, the congressional. Uh, appropriation of 250 million dollars to uh, put money into people-to-people -people, uh, peace uh, operations uh, in, the, in the Middle East, Palestinian, Israeli. Uh, uh, the New American uh, Fund. The New American Fund by, uh, con uh, by, uh, financed by the con con Congress. And uh, what exactly is this decision of the Congress? It really enables local initiatives of yes. Israel and Palestinians to do what exactly it, with that money? To, to, uh, to, it, it funds basically NGOs which uh, are uh, promoting people-to-people -people activities, okay, to get Israeli and Palestinians together, to meet each other, to talk to each other, and to uh, work together towards peace. And 250 million dollars is a lot of money, mm -hmm. okay, especially in a small place like here. And it'll make a considerable impact. It will be a big boon to to many of the NGOs who are active in that field. Maybe even to to what we're doing right now uh, with the federation. Uh, so it's it's something which cannot be laughed away. Please share with me one idea, one practical picture or initiative that you can imagine that this new fund can help you and your team with all the activities that you're already doing for so well, many years? First of all, uh, uh, money can help to spread the, spread, get the, uh, spread the word around. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, The moment you have money and you have budgets, you can uh, make a PR and uh, advertisement. And uh, the fact that many of the peace initiatives are not known to the Israeli public is a result of because there wasn't any money in it. So mm -hmm. the moment money goes that way, uh, uh, that will make a big impact. People will become much more aware of the possibilities of alternatives, also about the Federation possibly. Uh, and of course you can conduct uh, big operations like signing up a million people or organizing a million people march or doing all kinds of things which can put real pressure on the government and will force the government's hands. And that's what we're trying to do. Like letting the governments know and letting other parts of the population know that uh, beside uh, uh, the COVID-19, there are many more issues, there are many more issues that yeah. can be campaigned and one million yeah. people that are marching or signing on an, app, uh, on an app or doing a practical move, Israelis and Palestinians, Israeli mm. Jewish and Israeli Arab people, this can turn on a, a big volume Absolutely. of a campaign. Absolutely. And the, the government will not be able to dismiss it. Exactly. Okay. One million it's people. Too much. $250 million dollars go a long way. Also, another interesting reflection that is happening nowadays by King Abdallah. Yeah, King Abdallah, uh, in, in an interview with CNN, referred to the, uh, uh, what happened in, in the mixed Israeli cities, and he pointed out that that's a, that's a very dangerous uh, sign, uh, which indicates that Israel will have to deal with, not only with the Palestinians in the West Bank, but also with the Palestinians inside Israel. The Arab Israelis. Who, who, the Arab Israelis who have, who have been systematically neglected 
uh, for 70 years in, in many ways. Uh, uh, it, it, you know, it, it eventually thing, things boil over, and they did boil over in May. And in order to prevent that from happening, we have to uh, we have to put an emphasis on that. It's very fortunate now that Ra'am is, is in the government, the Arab Party is in the government, which which does put pressure on the government to uh, improve the situation of Israeli Arabs. Uh, it's all one big thing. It's our relations with the Palestinians, with the Arabs in Israel. And it has to be dealt with forcefully by everybody. And while you're talking, Emmanuel Shachar, about boiling, we could see practically last night in the Israeli Knesset, yes. Dr. Ahmed Tibi standing as is running the, the, the show. And Itamar Ben Gvir uh, did not address him uh, properly, uh, properly in, in, in the way. Uh, he didn't proper, uh, address him properly like he would have addressed the Jewish chairman. Uh, and as a result, uh, he was evicted from. Uh, there was an attempt to evict him from uh, from the Knesset, uh, and it was a big uh, 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 scandal. It was a, 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 a very unfortunate, but it points out to the exact issue. Okay, as long as we do not relate to the Palestinians in Israel or in, under our sovereignty as equals, we have a big problem, and we will not be able to resolve our issues. Here talking about boiling and yes. almost violence in the Israel secret place of the Israeli Knesset mm -hmm. last night. Emmanuel Shachaf, people that want to be part of identity, the quest for Israel's future and also the federation movement to approach via Facebook? Facebook, Facebook is the best medium and messaging and everything is all there. The federation movement or my name Emmanuel Shachaf in English and uh, I'm here. Identity, the quest for Israel's future, Immanuel Shachov, thank you very much. Thank you.